Hey guys, so to begin with, just delete the layer where you have the rough sketch lines and start filling the shapes in with the solid base color. Now, as you guys can see here, I am filling the face with this skin color um, and I will provide the link to the palette as well if you want to use that. So I'm just filling the face up with that solid base color and I will fill the hair as well. Now, you might have clothes or other elements with you on the canvas the first step should be to always add a solid base color before you start adding details or shadows or highlights and i do have a video on how to shade face and sketchbook so do check that out before beginning with this video now once you have your solid base colors ready now what you want to do is you want to go to the um, layer where you have these sketch lines for the whole portrait and then you want to pick up any colorless brush you can pick up any colorless brush i will actually give you guys the name of this brush that i'm using somewhere on the video screen and use that brush now what you have to do is you have to go over those lines and you have to really lightly blend those you don't really you don't need to blend it out completely but really lightly also whatever colors sticks to the bristles of the brush that you're using the colorless brush you have to use that color to create a nice and soft base for the shadows now i do have a detailed video on the difference between the blending brushes and the colorless brushes that sketchbook has and how they work so i would highly 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 recommend you guys watching that video that video is really informative and that video is just going to give you basic um principle or basic um function of these brushes so that you understand understand them better and when you understand something better you actually use it pretty nicely so i would highly recommend that as well so i will i would actually create a playlist and link it down in the description so that you can actually go ahead and go through all those tutorials and those are basics you really need to learn those before you begin uh, before you begin with this little portrait painting now as you guys can see i have created this base shadow structure just by using the colorless brush also i actually didn't blend those lines out completely so that is the key that is why you really need to understand how this brush works properly so as you guys can see it is already looking kind of good and this is just going to help us in the process of creating shadows as to where to put the darker color and where to put the lighter color so that is why i do this step and i really love using sketchbook for this very reason as it has this brush or colorless brush i really love this so um, once you have that what you want to do is you want to lock the layer where you have the basic solid color basic skin color for the face so that the color doesn't go out the lines and you want to start building up the base for the shadows so for that i am using this darker shade um, of the skin color that i used and i'm just really light-handed adding this color or the areas where i think sh there must be shadows and also where i actually created the base for the shadows as well so that's what i'm doing and uh, when I'm doing it, I'm making sure I'm doing it really light-handed so that I don't really have to use blending tools or colorless brushes to, you know, kind of blend those out. Also, you want to keep in mind you have to keep a good balance between harsh-looking shadows and soft-looking shadows. Now, harsh-looking shadows mean um, shadows with some harsh edges, and soft-looking shadows are those which are nicely blended and which are nicely blending out with the skin color so you have to keep a good balance of those and that's what i'm doing and that is the reason why i love using this airbrush and i will give the name of this brush as well it should appear on the screen somewhere and yeah again i do have a detailed video on how to paint skin on sketchbook do check that video out and i also have a detailed video on how to shade and blend on sketchbook so these are three separate tutorials i'm talking about those are basics you should be learning those and uh, those are really helpful these are just going to change your whole process whole um the whole life basically so yeah just do check them out i will link those down below again 
so yeah that's what i'm doing now as you guys can see i have picked up colorless brush now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go over some shadows which i think should be nicely not really completely blended but just a little and just going over those with this brush just to soften them out a little bit and not each and every shadow so yeah i'm not gonna be going into detail as to where you should put the shadows and stuff like that because this video is not about that and i already have a video on that so yeah also when you are actually painting a three-fourth view face uh, always make sure always always just keep in mind the light source so if the light source is coming from the front as you guys can see the other part of the face which is on the left hand side is pretty darker as compared to the part of the face which is on the right hand side because i kept in mind the light source that i have for this portrait which is from the front or maybe from the right and that is why the left part of the face is a little darker and that nose has a little bit of shadow as you guys can see i done the eyes so what you have to do is you have to first actually create the base for the shadows and then you have to do the eyes eyebrows and eyelashes then now again i have tutorial on eyelashes on eyebrows and on everything so do check those out and i'm not going to go into detail about those so what it does it it gives you a basis for adding details once you are ready with the eyes or the little details that you have on the face so once you are ready with that it's just going to give you a good base or a good um, idea as to how or how much depth you want to add to the face now, as you guys can see i'm using this maroonish color to add more shadows and reason being as you guys must have noticed in my color palette i have four colors from orange undertone and four colors from pink undertone and the reason being our skin has different undertones so just don't rely on only one undertone that is just gonna make your whole face look ashy and not lifelike that is why i really like adding colors with pink undertone as well because um we have blood on our face that is quite obvious so you have to make sure you are showing that off from the skin as well so that's what i'm doing here here i'm actually adding little details with this color and also making sure at the same time that i'm adding both harsh looking and soft looking shadows onto the face so that's what i am doing here and you can just follow what i'm doing in the video and or you can just you know if you have a different light source for your painting you can just just keep that in mind and add, keep adding shadows as you guys can see i just added shadow for the nose because i have a light source which is coming from the right inside so again um the whole process is a game of the light source in a sense so yeah that is a really really important part of a portrait painting so yeah I actually realized i didn't record the part where i paint hair but do not worry about it because because i already have a tutorial on that as well so do check that video out if you're confused on how to shade paint hair on sketchbook i have a video on that check that out so yeah here what i'm doing is i'm just picking up this really bright kind of red maybe pink kind of color to add blush onto the cheeks now for the blush always make sure not just adding the blush on the cheeks but also a little bit of it on the bridge of the nose on the tip of the nose a little bit of it goes onto the neck but really really light handed and a little bit of it goes on the forehead as well that's how i do blush that's how i actually balance out the whole um blush thing um, so yeah now here what i'm doing is i'm taking this really deep red kind of color and 
I'm just starting to shade lips. Now, once again, I'm not going into detail about the lips as well. I'm actually just using airbrush to shade the lips and I'm not going to use any colorless brush to blend things out. So I have a video on this blending, um, how to blend on sketchbook where I actually teach you guys how to blend without using any blending tools. So go to check that out. But in a rough idea, basically what I'm doing is I'm actually playing with pressure sensitivity and with this brush. So where I want the darker shade with the darker color, I am actually putting more pressure and where I want lighter shade, I'm putting less pressure. And also, I do also have a video on um, shading lips. So do check that out. Now, basically, now what I'm doing is I'm actually merging the hairline with the hair. Um, I hope that is making sense because right now it actually looks that as if she's wearing a wig. So you have to actually blend it out with the skin. So for that, I have chosen this really dark color which is a dark shade of that marvinish color that i was using and i am using this color to merge the hair with the skin and for for that what you have to do you ha first have to create a really dark shadow just underneath the hair then you have to blend it out over the skin making sure the color is light when it comes onto the forehead i hope that is making sense you guys and now basically what i'm doing is i'm just adding more and more shadows around that area just to blend all of that out nicely and yeah that's what i'm doing my hair and if you guys hear some background noises just excuse me for that because i don't know what's happening outside maybe it's raining or i don't know but yeah that that is what all the noise is about so yeah pretty much i'm just adding more and more details onto the face and you don't really have to if you're happy with this because this looks good as it is you don't really have to add more and more details but i kind of go crazy when i do digital portraits i really like to add more and more and more and more details and i love it and as you guys can see on the neck i added this harsh looking shadow just underneath the face that's what you have to do you make sure Especially under the neck, you, ha you should have a harsh looking shadow. So just keep that in mind. Now, once you're really, really happy with all of that, what you really have to do is just pick up a light color, light skin color. Now, if you are painting a dark skin tone, use a light skin color as I'm using right here. Don't use white color if you are uh, actually painting dark skin tone. So basically what I'm doing is I just created this new layer and I'm creating this basic structure for the highlight. And that is the reason why I'm using skin color right now. And I will use this skin color to create a good base for the highlight. And I am using the similar brush and also making sure I'm not really putting too much pressure onto the screen because I don't want them to look harsh just yet. And I want them to look really, really soft uh, for the base. So I am adding this highlight on the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, cheekbones, and on a little bit on the forehead and also do add a little bit on the neck as well on the ears and yeah around the lips as well around the nose just a little bit like a little dots around the nose and yeah do that now the reason why i add little dots around the nose is because to make the whole face look um glowy and dewy and when our face is glowy and dewy um or maybe oily when your face is oily you must have noticed you have these little dots on your face because of the pores that we have on our skin so yeah that's what i would like to do also uh one of the steps that i skipped is the freckle part just use any textured brush and use it for freckles or you can just use the airbrush and just add little dots 
with the darker color to create freckles but I didn't do that for this portrait so that's that and and once you are happy with the base of the highlights what you want to do is you want to pick up white color if you are painting light skin tone and add little dots of white color and these are gonna be harsh and these are not gonna be soft looking so that's how I actually highlight I do have a video on that as well I actually have a video on every topic so you must you should check those out other than that this digital portrait is complete I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up also you do create if you do create something out of my tutorials and tag me on Instagram I actually go through all of you and I really appreciate that when you tag me and you create something out of my tutorials it really means a lot other than that give this video a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys the next time